and a Turkish official has said that Erdogan is seeking reprieve from Putin as Russian-backed Syrian forces close in on the country's last major rebel bastion. Recently, an airstrike in Idlib province, which borders Turkey, hit and halted a Turkish army convoy. Now we can cross to Alec Loon, correspondent for The Telegraph in Moscow. Uh, Alec, tell us more about uh, the focus of these talks. Well, as you mentioned, Syria is going to be the biggest question. Uh, Turkey and Russia may be on opposite sides of the conflict, but their leaders have a very good personal relationship that they've used to overcome these difficulties in the past. Um, during the first part of their meeting today, Putin called Erdogan his dear friend. Um, he showed er Erdogan uh, some of the t uh, technology on display at this uh, air show in Moscow. Erdogan wants to convince Putin to help stop the growing conflict in Idlib, uh, which he has called a security threat to Turkey. Um, Bashar al-Assad's forces, that's Russia's close al ally, started an offensive against Idlib, obviously, this month. And uh, Ankara has troops in Idlib, and also it's worried about a possible new wave of refugees that could flee this fighting into Turkey. Um, from the Russian standpoint, Putin wants Turkey to help attack thousands of jihadist militants who are also in Idlib um, before helping to restore the ceasefire there. Uh, that's something that Turkey has not wanted to do so far. And uh, Putin could also use this opportunity to push back against an initi initiative by the United States and Turkey to create a security zone in northeast Syria. Um, that's something Turkey wants to help keep Kurdish forces away from the Turkish border. But it's something that Russia doesn't find amenable because it, uh, it creates another opportunity for the United States to continue its presence in Syria, undermines the authority of Bashar al-Assad in his own country. Um, and all this is happening, of course, before Russian and Iranian leaders meet in Turkey next month. Alec, as we're just seeing in those uh, images there, uh, President Erdogan has used this trip to uh, check out Russian military aircraft. That's right. Uh, Putin showed Erdogan Russia's new Su-57 stealth fighter jet. That's very interesting he chose to show that particular jet to Erdogan because um, that is Russia's answer to the U.S. F-35 stealth fighter. And uh, the United States has been saying that Turkey's participation in the development of the F-35 is in jeopardy after Turkey began receiving S-400 missile systems from Russia last month. Um, Turkey has said that those two issues should not be connected. Washington has said that they are. Um, so one thing that could help Moscow and Ankara agree on Syria are the arms sales, the, the S-400 missiles. Turkey will be re receiving more of those in the near future, and perhaps um, something more, something like the Su-57, if the F-35 deal falls through. Uh, one senior Russian lawmaker suggested a few weeks ago that Russia wants to increase its arms sales to Turkey. And uh, during his remarks um, with Erdogan on Tuesday, uh, Putin said that this international attention to Russia's air industry really shows its export potential. So that's something also that uh, Putin is hoping to do, it seems.